You must be proud of that last quarter to come back from where they were um, I'm really proud of the way that they came back. I mean, they, we got ourselves into a big mess there in the first half, but you know, I, I'm, I really admire their capacity to pull it together and to get themselves into a position, well, to get in front and to get themselves into a position where they, they could have won the game. So I think that's a great quality to have as a team, that fight and that heart and, and that hunger for the, for the win. You learned a bit about the team's heart, but also, you know, you, you pretty much had to use your whole list of players. You tried every option you had available. It was, um, I know, it was great to see Ali Smith out there on court on wing defence for her first game. Of course, she's a great wing defence and I think she grabbed the opportunity with, with both hands and, and did a great job out there on court. And, um, yeah, we had to play around a little bit to find to find how we're going to get it to work again. But um, ultimately, in the end, they... they found that energy and that connection together to make it happen. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about Ali, you know, to do what she did in the last quarter and to have as big an impact on Dabu as she had, like that's, that's rare, isn't it? She's, um, she's been a favourite of mine as a young player coming up for a long time and she's a great, she's super competitive and she's got that bit of mongrel as well for the contest and you know, she's working, building up in that midcourt, but certainly wing defence is her preferred position, but she's got speed and athleticism and loves an intercept and will contest and contest all the way. So great to see her out there. And then it's just the little things about tidying up and the discipline on, um, with penalties, but uh, she did a great job. Um, I think we've talked before about scrapping for those wings mm. and you guys doing that this season. What was the talk in there at half time? Was it largely positive that you could turn it around? Yes, we certainly spoke within our, within our groups and, and technically within their areas about what we needed to adjust and change. But from there, it's just like, hey, it's a great opportunity, however many were we down, to show what you're really made of. And that's what the best teams do. They're, they're never out of it. So I am, I am really pleased about that. Um, when Caitlin put that last one through, I guess, you know, you thought you had it for a second there. Is it... Uh any disappointment at all that they came back and look i think there's probably and that's the thing it's a draw and you know win lose or draw but you do and that's what we always do after a game what do we need to take out of that and i think that's probably something we need to look at all right could we have um used up a bit more time at the end of that game that didn't allow them the opportunity to then go and to to equalize it so that there's some of the learnings that you have to take out of it what's the uh word on I think so. She's um, she's she, it's recovered really well the past couple of days, but it's just not with a calf. It's just not the sort of injury you want to to risk or to push, particularly when we've got it all ahead of us still. So um, um, I'm hopeful she'll she'll be fine, but I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push it at all either. And you know, it's it was great seeing you know, KD out there, but even Joe back there and with KD, I thought that worked nicely for us. So I'm here with Ali Smith, our newest debutante vixen. How did it feel when you um, got out there on the court? What did Simone say to you at halftime before you got out there? Um, well, she just said, play our game plan, um, play your own game, go hard and have fun. <laughs> so <laughs> have fun. Much, yeah. Also, also very important. Yeah. Well, you definitely made an impact out there. Um, what did you think, um, just being able to get some of those tips and especially at those crucial times for us, um, what, do you, what did you think and how did you feel like you were going out there? Um, well, I don't know, it's just all a blur <laughs> at the moment. Um, but obviously playing alongside the likes of this one, um, it's amazing. I guess these girls that I'm playing with, like you're on my idols, so um, playing alongside is awesome. Um, I just want to get bold, just get bold the whole time um, and work with the girls. Um, behind me and in front of me and just, um, you know, make that impact that we needed. Yeah, yeah. well, you absolutely did. Um, it was awesome to see you. We've known how much of a superstar you are and we just haven't managed to see you on the SSM court yet, but you did not look out of place and we look forward to seeing so much more from you, Ellie. Um, and how have you been finding hub life? Have you been learning anything new about all of your teammates or anything like that? Um, I've been loving hub life. This is probably the longest I've been away from um, home, so that's new. Um, learning something um, probably about Katie, who's my roomie. She's a great fish cooker. Great, so you can come over. Good, to absolutely. I'll take you up on that. Um, and also, do you have a message for um, maybe your family or our members back home that have been tuning in and watching? Yeah, um, I just hope you're proud of us out here. Um, 
Obviously to my family back home, um, all your messages mean so much to me. Um, and we are thinking about all the Victorians and in the tough time they're at, but um, the numbers are going down and hopefully we'll be home to see you soon. Awesome, well done on your amazing debut and um, yeah, I guess it wasn't the ideal finish for us, was it, with being a draw? Um, but, you know, hugely proud of the, um, the fight back that we showed because we definitely looked, um, you know, a bit down and out there for a little bit, didn't we? Yeah, but, sure. um, yeah, they're definitely, I think for, for us, what can, what can we take out of that moving forward for, um, for next week's game, do you think? Um, we can take a few things. We're just going to have to go back and have a look at the footage um, that we're obviously will get given um, and just a few little things that we can tweak. Um, I think we should be proud of ourselves in a way coming back um, from so far down and really sticking by each other and really using us, each other as family and we had each other's backs out there. So um, we'll come back bigger and stronger next week. Awesome, thanks Ali. Now the question for you, Dana. Okay, now my question for you. <laughs> How are you playing goal attack so well? <laughs> um, I don't know to be honest, I think a little bit, um, I'm just, trying to play a bit on instinct because I don't, I'm still learning um, out there at goal attack and learning the patterns and the lines that I need to be running and things like that. So I, I guess to a certain extent I feel like a little bit of the pressure's off because, um, you know, because I haven't played there much before. Um, so nobody probably expects me to be very good at it. So, um, well, you're amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think, you know, we did, we did so much, um, you know, pre-season. <laughs> So I've been running in the pre-season, yeah. so um, I have been working really hard at the fitness component of it, but still obviously learning all of the all of the patterns and things that we're um, we're doing out there. And I think it just for me, I think it's great that we've got the versatility of um, you know rotating through all of the, the three shooters that we've got, and um, I think it adds something different for our um, attack end. So yeah, yeah. and yeah. confident yeah. girls round. Yeah, yes, might want to it's ambassador. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to say anything about Confidence Girls Round? <laughs> um, well, obviously, it's Confident Girls Round this round, um, and we're attempting to raise money for all of the great programs and things that um, the Confident Girls Foundation um, support. Um, so, all sorts of um, different, you know, vulnerable groups um, within our netball community, and we've seen the incredible work that they've done across the bushfire um, grants and things like that. So. Um, tune in to the telethon tonight. It's between 6 and 7 p.m. Um, you can get on and donate. Um, we're having a bit of a competition between all of the ambassadors. So if you want to get on there, join Team Katie. We want Team Katie for the win. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this my friend's bloody heavy, isn't it? <laughs>